also known as Q and Interwebs, and today we're going to continue our search for a head movement uh, with the Homino VR device. And we actually found something, and I'm going to show you guys that right now. So first thing you want to do is you grab your mobile phone, and you're go going to download the application Kino VR. This is the app that you're going to need. Let's see if you can see it. It's not really sharp or something, but I think it's sharp enough so that you guys can read it. There you go. So this is the app that you want to download. I'm going to uh, install it right now for you guys. I uh, uninstalled it just for the case of this video. So, uh, and basically what this application does, it will stream one of your screens, or I mean the main screen at least, uh, onto your mobile phone, which is really nifty, I think. And not only it will do that, um, uh, I don't know how it does it, but you can make it so that you have actually head movement and that it can actually move the mouse real smoothly and stuff. So right now I'm going to open it. Let's see. I'm going to open it. This is the screen we're actually getting. Um, oh. As you can see, this is a trial thing. You can buy the real thing at the, the Google Store. But um, I haven't run out of my time yet, so I'm just going to use this uh, for now. So as you can see, uh, it will detect um, the internet or like the, the other computer that's on the internet that you're on on your phone as well. So basically, all you need is a uh, an internet connection that's the same on your phone as on your computer yeah uh, if you have that you, you're going to download the uh, well uh, the, the kind of VR on your computer so I'm going to do that right now so I'll switch in three two one all right so I had some uh, technical difficulties so I'm going to do it this way right now so you want to search for Kino me Kino me that's what you want to search for on the webs you're going to the site, like the first link, this is the page you'll get, and you want to go down the page to Kino VR. Download these drivers, it will download right there, as you can see, can you see, guys see that? You, you guys can sort of see that, but it started downloading, you open that up, and when it's done, there it is, little pop-up thing. Yes, I want that. So I was already trying to edit it out, but it didn't really work. Um, so we're just going to move this to the other one. Next, I agree, this is the folder where it will be installed in. Install, yes. It is really quickly, and there it is already. So this is the screen that will pop up after you, uh, you're done downloading. Also, you will have uh, three little icons uh, for Kainoni stuff. I only work with the Kino VR. I don't know what the other two are, so you can just delete that, I guess. Um, anyhow, so yeah, this is the screen that actually will pop up. Uh, you can set a password for your sort of little server thingy. Uh, this this is like a password that you have to um, answer into your phone if you're on the same network as your phone and your computer. But you don't have to do that. Okay, um, this is a quick launcher. You can like scan for games and they will just pop up here and you can insta like start them up basically. And then now the most important setting of them all, the VR settings. So this is the little thing that you'll get. Uh, the pitch has to be on the mouse X, the roll needs to be on none, and the jaw needs to be on the mouse Y. The sensitivity is also very important. I have them on 30 right now, and that plays well for me. Um, but you can experiment with that really easily. Let's see, so there you go. Also, um, you have this little thing right here, oh yeah, you want to actually disable mouse uh, acceleration because then the head tracking will be working better. Um, on my phone, uh, I have it on 54, 54 right there, that's the number. So basically what this is, this will be uh, how much space there is between the two pictures on your phone, which will be your 3D. Uh, screen basically and if you play with a uh, cardboard or whatever or something else you want to enable image duplication because um, that's basically how VR works on a phone for me at least I don't know what it would do if you have that not enabled but it just looks really wanky and stuff so I have it enabled image duplication so that it will work for me so basically these are the settings that uh, and all you need so let's continue on with uh, the next step. So I can do it right now, but what you basically want to do, you you um, going to start the application. 
you get this screen, you want to go next, and then there will be a little computer thing will pop up here. You press that, and then after that you'll just press, uh, just enter the, uh, the password that you actually just entered in those two little bars that we saw earlier. And uh, if you do that, this little thing will pop up, and um, this will be your VR for system. Okay, so uh, as you guys can see right now, right here, Oh, this actually working really well. So you can, uh, if when you use the um, the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can actually try and uh, get the best settings for your uh, phone. So what is like the biggest and stuff. So for me, basically, let's see, this works the best for me, I guess. And for me, that is. Uh, 54 54 millimeters that's basically what works for me so that's the setting that I'm using right now I'm going to close this up again like that um, also what you want to do um, I'm going to stop this thing right now because so we're basically back right now um, I'm going to connect again with my uh, with my phone Let's see make sure that it's actually cr uh, clean so that you get like the best experience um, it's working right now. So what I actually have noticed that when you're like playing a game or something, the screen gets a little bit smaller and you have these two uh, black lines. It's quite annoying, but uh, I mean it's still working for me. You just have to focus on the, the two screens basically. So uh, yeah. So the magic goes away a little bit with this thing. Also, good to know that like if you turn the music on, there will actually be actually the the game music will come out of your own phone. So that's actually a, a fun thing. So let me just put this in real quickly. Oh, it should have better because now we can actually play play the game with VR. As you can see, I'm looking to the left, look to the right. This is actually quite a lot. So I'm just like looking around right now. It's on my uh, on my map. Damn, I hate that it's nighttime because now you guys won't be seeing a lot. But yeah, I can look up. I can look down. I can go back. And as I'm already like experiencing right now that it's really sensitive. So uh, right now I'm going to put out real quickly. I'm going to disable it because right now I'm noticing that my sensitivity is way too high, so I'm putting that a little bit down to see if it will work better than. So, we're going to start the Kynal VR again. Um, we're going to put this on 30 for now. Let's put all of them on 30. We're going to connect back. Putting that in, really one kilo, I don't really see it, hey, help me, thank you, oh man, I love that there's like a little mirror thing that I can uh, relate to, awesome, so I am back in right now, and I'm just looking around, looking up, looking down, and now I can actually play the game, and this is actually working for me right now, so 30, the sensitivity on 30, that works for Minecraft at least, other games will be different of course, I can look down, I can play this game you know so I'm actually uh, willing to do some videos with the VR I already have some games uh, planned like a little IKEA tour and uh, something with cells I don't know really what that is but yeah now that I've actually found out how to do this um, I hope I have helped you guys with this as well with this video anyhow I hear a zombie where where's she at where's she at where's she at Zombie, zombie. Whoa, there he is! Oh, fuck me. Okay. Hi there, Mr. Zombie. Um, cool. Anyhow, uh, my name is Q, and I'm getting killed by a zombie. Goodbye! Uh, I need to close this thing. I need to put this thing out.